All right, everybody, this is Robert Lewis for exercise testing. We're just going to go through the required uh, elements for the GXT lab. Okay, I'm going to go through this fairly quickly, uh, but it should give you a good idea of what to do. Okay, uh, intro one page, nothing's changed. Results um, are going to be below. Okay, tables 2A through 2D. And again, if the tables are not on this uh, sheet, you list them whatever, label them whatever you want. It could be 1A through 1D. Um, then do not include them, okay, if they're not on this sheet. All right, so the first table is VO2 in mLs per kg per minute, uh, VO2 in liters per minute, heart rate, and energy expenditure, okay? Now, all of those but heart rate, you're going to have to figure out. In the lab manual, there is a regression equation uh, that you will be able to use to figure out the VO2 in liters per minute and mLs per kg per minute. Uh, for each individual stage, and then also through that you can get the energy expenditure uh, or kcals per minute, okay? So your job is to look on Blackboard, find the lab manual that Dr. Schmidt posted, look through that and find the equations, okay? That I'm not going to give you, but I am going to tell you how to go about doing this, okay? So uh, what we need is a mean at each individual stage. We're going to use heart rate since we have that as a raw value, okay? So we're going to open up our data sheet. We're going to look, okay, we have our six subjects here, and this is all stage one, okay? So heart rate at minutes one through six, we're going to go open up an Excel, okay? And we're going to enter in each one of these values, okay? You can enter them, enter them as SM for one column, EG for another column, VC for another column if you want. Uh, but in the end, you're going to end up averaging every single one of these values all six of these subjects and all six of these stages, okay, or they're not stages, they're minutes, okay? You're going to average them all together and get the mean. And that is going to give you uh, the values for stage one. So you're going to get the mean and the standard deviation and the range, okay? Pretty simple um, once you figure out the VO2 um, at each of the stages using the uh, regression equations, okay, and located in your lab manual. But for heart rate, for example, we just take the mean of all of those, put them in here for the first stage. Second stage is going to come from the lower portion right here, so we're going to average all these values together, okay? Pretty simple. We're going to move on to the next thing, and those are all for the bike test, and you need six subjects for that, which you have. Next, let's see, we have tables 3A through 3D or 2A through 2D. Um, collected from four subjects and we're doing treadmill now. Okay, so now we move to the treadmill stuff. We have VO2 and mLs per kg per minute, heart rate in beats per minute, energy expenditure, and VO2 in liters per minute. And each one of those except for energy expenditure is contained in your data sheet um, that uh, I sent to you. Okay, so let's look at how to do VO2 and mLs per kg per minute. Okay, so we're going to open up the sheet that we have. It's going to look like this for one particular subject. Um, VO2 in kgs per minute, or mLs per kg per minute, is right here. Okay, now you'll notice that the, the speed is not on the left hand side or indicated anywhere, but the time is. So we know each stage was three minutes. So what we're going to do for this first speed is we're going to highlight from minute zero to minute three. Okay, so it looks like 301 right there, three minutes and one second. We're going to copy that, and we're going to go over to the next sheet, and we're going to paste it into our next sheet. Okay, so this is where you would paste it. All right, you're also going to label that as subject KL, VO2, and mLs per kg per minute. That's just going to help you so that you don't uh, confuse the numbers. Okay, you're going to do that same thing with the three subjects. Uh, or four subjects from the treadmill, okay? So you're going to put subjects one's data from minute zero through three here, two's data from zero through three here, three's data from th zero through three here, and so forth, okay? Until you have your required um, uh, subjects. And I believe it's four, okay? I have three here, but um, look at the top, it'll be four. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to make an equation down here. Remember, equal sign A, V, E, R, A, G, E open parentheses, highlight all of these uh, boxes here, close the parentheses, hit enter, and that gives us our value, okay? And then all you have to do is press control C, 
copy this equation and then highlight let's assume we don't have anything here and here so we just made our equation for this box we're going to control C and uh, copy that highlight the two boxes that don't have an equation in them control V and paste them okay it'll paste the equation into those uh, boxes now you'll notice that the numbers are the same that's just because I didn't take the time and go with each individual subject okay this is all the same subjects data from minute 0 through 3 so minute 0 through 3 is giving us uh, this speed okay so whatever mean we get from that is going to be entered in right here oh and we're looking at mls per kg per minute so we're up here okay so that is minute 3 now minute um, excuse me speed 3 speed 4 is going to be minute uh, 3 through 6 okay so we'll go down here go back to our sheet and we're going to highlight from minute 3 to minute 6 which is right there copy that over so control C you're gonna copy it over here boom copy it from the uh, subject 1 subject 2 subject 3 subject 4 and you'll do the same thing down here okay make sure you label it average and then do your equation equals a uh, V E R A G E open parentheses highlight all your um, cells I'll close parentheses enter and there you have your average okay then you'll just control C copy it and paste it into the next two cells and there we have our average for um, all the individuals now once you have your average for each individuals okay or each individual you'll need the average of those three or four individuals so down here you'll put total uh, average and this goes for um, this stuff that we did over here as well okay for stage one so total average and then you're gonna put equals a uh, V E R A G E open parentheses and now we're gonna highlight these three averages right here and close parentheses and boom there we have it and I just thought uh, about this that it might actually save you some time if you just do that for the whole thing so to save your time and not have to do the average for each individual subject and then the total you could do an average for the entire thing and just highlight all of the values which will give you the same exact thing because we're taking an average from an average there right um, so it gives us the same exact number okay so that will get us through that all right so you're gonna do the same thing for heart rate vo2 and energy expenditure um, you'll notice if we scroll up heart rate and vo2 and, and liters per minute are both here heart rate vo2 and liters per minute is right here and then we look for kcals per minute and we don't see it okay so if we don't see kcals per minute what the heck do we do well we can take vo2 in liters per minute here and let's copy this as a stage uh, or uh, miles per hour three miles per hour so we'll copy it down here or paste it down here and this is vo2 in liters per minute and we know that to convert vo2 in liters per minute to kcals per minute what do we do we multiply by five so let's create an equation equals sign open parentheses highlight this box make a little star for a multiplication and then five okay close parentheses and enter that gives us our kcals per minute label it so that you don't get confused later kcal per min and then we or copy the equation that we just did um, paste it down to the rest of our values control v and bam there we have our kcals per minute okay so you'll do that for each individual subject and then you'll get the um, average from all the kcals per minute and list that value um, as your uh, uh, table value okay so you'll plug that in right there for minute three mean and you remember how to do SD that's equal sign uh, STDEV open parentheses and then highlight your data okay you can also do that with range equal sign I think it's R A N G E um, for range okay so that gives you all that table four uh, we're looking at scores between tests this is important to note you're not responsible for the 1.5 mile run so you can just take that out uh, give me two three four look give me four subjects for this you don't need six and um, for the O strand test, the VO2 max or predicted VO2 max um, is going to be found out again from your lab manual. The predicted represents the treadmill predicted, and for that value,